Hi. Hello. I recently graduated from college with a computer science degree. That's why I'm That's why he's That's why he's but I'm kind of unemployed. There's a lot of reasons for it. You know, the job market went to a complete dumpster fire for tech. And then honestly, it's also a skill issue. My resume could probably be better. I should probably be networking more. But one of the main issues behind it, in all honesty, is my technical skills. So ideally, I want to be a software engineer. But whenever you interview for these types of jobs, you have to do a lot of technical interviews so you can prove that you know what you're doing. And these interviews are not that easy. Unless you're like a 500 IQ, five head, genius, giga chad, you're going to find these interviews really difficult if you don't prepare and study because a lot of times they're quizzing you on something called data structures and algorithms. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. Because it's what you need to write really efficient and optimized programs. But the real reason why they interview this is because everyone else is doing it like this. Since to be fair, it's a pretty effective way of filtering out a lot of applicants and getting the best talent. Although there's probably better ways of doing it depending on the position you apply for, but that's a whole different conversation. But the way you study these types of interview questions, for the most part, is mainly on a website called LeetCode. I've made some videos on it. If you want to check it out and see what they're like, feel free. This website is kind of like the gym for software engineers since we use it to work out our problem solving skills and our data structures and algorithm skills. Here's the problem for me. I get distracted a lot and I also like to procrastinate a lot. A lot of times I don't want to do these questions because these questions are really fucking boring. And the technical concepts to understand these questions put me to... And this is the main reason why I feel my technical skills aren't that good, since if they were, you know, I'd kind of have a job. Now, I've done my fair share of these practice questions, and I've also done some technical interviews with some companies. One of my worst interviews was at Netflix, where I completely f***ed it up. I blanked out so hard. And if you want to hear how that went, let me know. Anyways, since I get distracted a lot, I was thinking, if only there was somebody that knew how to program and had extra time on their hands, and could make me a program to force me to do practice interview questions against my will and make me want to kill myself. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking, shouldn't you just spend this time, you know, doing interview questions instead of making a program to make you do interview questions? Anyways, okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna make a browser extension, which basically prevents me from accessing any type of website until I solve a randomly assigned lead code problem. Seems like an easy project to do. I've never made a browser extension before, but it shouldn't be that bad. It probably won't even take that long. Let me just Google how to make an extension and look at that documentation. Oh, this is gonna be easy peasy. Looks like I have to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. No frameworks. Looks like we have to go a little lower level. Lower level. Nah, dude, tripping. Your hands don't look like this while you're eating your lunch. Must be a liberal sissy. Must be a sissy boy. I'll just do these tutorials and then we'll see what happens. Okay, the classic hello world. Create a manifest.json. Now I need an icon and create a hello.html file. Hi, SpongeBob. Add on a PC. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, I just made my first extension. That was actually really easy. Time to do the actual tutorials. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, this is how they modify pages. Okay, we gotta use the DOM. That's not surprising. What the fuck? Okay, just finished the first one. On to the next ones. Oh, I'm making something productive. I'm gonna need this later. I just made a CSS video and I don't know what the f I'm looking at. Okay, I just finished. I'm not gonna do this last tutorial. It's time to make the greatest extension the world has ever seen. To help all the people that are unemployed like me. To help all those people that got embarrassed in technical interviews and the interviewer was just like, It's okay, man. It happens to everybody. But they're just being fucking nice to all those people. <sighs> all right, let's get started. Just finished setting it up. Time to program the actual thing. I never spit on you, dad. Okay, if I did this correctly, it should just work. Yes! 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 No! 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 I've been trying to fix this bug for like one to two hours, trying to figure out why this shit keeps happening, why I keep getting redirected. 
And do you want to know what the issue was? Do you want to know what the fucking problem was? <sighs> this is my choice. I pick this. I don't even need to be doing this. I should just be studying interview problems. But I wanted to be, ho, 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 I wanted to make a funny extension. Ha, ha, ha. This same fuck. Okay, now it works. And I'm going to prove it to you guys by doing this. Watch this. If it doesn't work, then I guess this is the end of my YouTube. Please work, please work. Oh, thank God. Now that the whole redirecting works, now I got to figure out how to do the whole random problem. So I'm going to need a website that has all the recommended interview problems you should practice. And then I can go on from there. I wonder if anyone's actually made that. Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code. What the fuck? Ooh. Did you hear that? I've solved a lot of leak code problems. Hey guys, I'm still unemployed, so let's solve another leak code problem. And eventually got an offer from Google. I made some free updates to my site, neatcode.io, which if you're new, it's basically a site I created to help people prepare for coding interviews for free. I love you, Neat Code. I love you so much. So I did some mining off camera and check it out. I got it working. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean you did some mining off camera? What did you do? How did we go from here to here? What happened? What did Yeah, so I kind of forgot to record this part but this is basically what i did so the whole reason why i wanted a website that had interview problems is because i wanted to use a web scraper a web scraper is basically just a bot that extracts data and content from a website so you can use it for your own purposes and i decided to use nico's website i used his website to create a web scraping bot and all this bot does is it's going to look at all the problems on his website so it's going to extract the name of the problem and then the link to the problem and then from there i save that information into a json file and and from there, I can use that file to just generate a random leak code problem. This was also my first time making a web scraping bot. And let me tell you, it probably would have been faster if I just wrote each of these problems out by hand instead of making this bot. But in the words of Michael Reeves, that's how you turn a five hour task into a one and a half month task, because I'm a programmer and that's what we do. All right, so this extension's almost done. It's just missing one more core feature. Currently, the extension doesn't know if you solve the problem, and this basically means you're stuck in endless torture. You're never gonna be able to access any website forever. So I need to figure out how to program something to let the extension know that you actually solved the problem. I'll come back whenever I figure that out. I figured it out. For you, it only took a second, but it took me a couple hours to figure this out. Let me show you what I did. So here we are on this leak code problem, right? As you can see, I have the solution coded up because I'm such a genius. I totally didn't copy and paste any code. And before I submit this solution, let me open up my dev tools and enter the network panel. And now let me submit the solution. You see that right there? You see where it says check? Oh, would you look at that? It has all the information about if you solve the problem. It has the language you use, the status, it has everything. Wow. So knowing this, I wrote some code to grab that information. And now I can just do a simple check if you actually solve the problem. And if you did solve it, I can just remove the redirect rule. And now you're free for the day. I took off your parental controls. You can now access any website. You can watch some YouTube videos. You know, you could just waste your life. <clears throat> Anyways, check it out if it works. Yeah. All right. This extension is done. I don't think there's anything thing left to do what it's just an ordinary crabby oh my goodness Squidward! okay i just finished styling it this extension is done for now there's still a lot i have to work on but it's it's done it's time to finally publish it on the chrome web store so all you guys can use it get your six digit jobs and get yourself a nice little lambo oh wait they have to review this I mean, that makes sense. I hope they accept this name. Well, hopefully this gets accepted by the time this is posted. If you guys want to work on the code or just want to see it, fix my spaghetti code. I'll leave the repo in the description and you guys can mess around with it. Do whatever you want, make it better. And maybe we can make it from a meme to an actual useful extension. I don't know. That'd be funny. But that's everything from me. Um, don't do drugs. Stick to Lee code and see you guys. Thank you, Bonnie Kit 43.